Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about getting our fringes straight, uh, or bangs if you're American. Um, so recently I was asked by a friend um, how to get her fringe straight because uh, she always had this parting in her fringe. Uh, and it was a continuation of a natural parting in her hair. Basically if you've got parting in your hair, you'll find that perhaps you want a straight fringe but you're always getting this kind of like light area where your parting is pushing the fringe to either side and it's not laying flat. Um, so that's that's what we're going to deal with today. Now you, what, what, what are you going to do to fix that? You might think, you know, uh, go for your straighteners. Grab your straighteners first. No. At best, all you're going to do running a pair of straighteners through this is uh, bend the hair roughly into where you want it, quite near the root. You're not actually going to address the main problem, which is the fact that the hair needs to be pulled from the root straight out so that you, you'll then resolve any of this parting. So that's what we're going to show you today. So we're going to need a few tools for this. We're going to need uh, a hairdryer and a hairbrush. And you can use straightening lotion if you've got it, uh, like a heat protective straightening lotion. If you haven't, it's not crucial. I'm not going to use it today because it's just a fake head and she doesn't mind. So first of all, uh, we're going to get our brush. Uh, we're going to use a round brush today, a ball bristle round brush. Um, now, if you're, you know, know how to use brush, just close your ears for a second because we're going to sort of address this right from as if you've never touched a brush before. Um, to use a round brush, you're basically you're just putting it in the hair, you're pulling it down through the hair, and then you're curling it back up, and then pulling it back down. Um, so that all you're doing there is you're pulling the hair through all of the um, ball bristles of the brush to really like pull, to get a real tension on that root and pull it straight. So it's a pretty simple motion, it's just pulling it, curling it up, pulling it, curling it up, pulling it. That's all we do until the hair's dry. And you'll see what I mean in a minute, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, the first thing you wanna do before you start blow drying is just separate uh, your fringe area from the rest of the area of your head. Get it into a loose part of where you want it to be. Um, just separate that away, just cut it off, uh, twist it round, pin it up, keep it out of the way, So, because we'll come to that at the last. We're gonna blow dry the rest of the head first, then we're gonna focus on the fringe. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry that now. I'm not gonna show it in the video, because it's this hair's so short, It's it's a very quick blow dry job. Um, so I'm gonna quickly blow dry that now and then we'll get back to it and we'll work on how to get that fringe straight. Okay, so the rest of the hair's dry now. We've got our fringe area that's still wet. Um, what we're gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna do it for the video. You don't have to do it at home, but um, it might help. You might find it helps. Just pin the dry hair away from the fringe uh, just to keep that sort of separate. Um, I'm gonna do it for the video just um, just to keep things clear. You might you don't really have to do it, but that's that first step. Second step, keep is get, take the fringe down. Um, if any of it dried, um, you can either use a sprayer if you've got one, just get it a little bit damp again, um, or just get some water on your hands and just damp it down. It does need to be wet really, um, else not a great deal is gonna happen, it's gonna go frizzy. Um, especially concentrate on the kind of area sort of around here, make sure that's damp, uh, because this is obviously the crucial area. Um, and now we need to separate the fringe. This fringe is quite deep, so um, rather than take that in one section, we're gonna split that in half. Now, um, probably gonna do this in about three sections. Gonna take the first section, second section, and the third section at the top. Depending on how deep your fringe is, how many sections you're gonna need to take it. Um, you can do it with a um, comb, but I'm just gonna do it with my fingers, because that's probably how you guys are gonna be doing it at home. It doesn't have to be super neat, just as long as it's sectioned off and then keep that top one out of the way. Now we're going to take our round brush and we're going to do that motion that I was talking about uh, earlier. Um, and this is how you do it. When you dry, um, keep the hair dryer pointed away from the head. Uh, that's quite a critical thing. Um, and make sure the airflow is going over the brush and over the hair as you go. So this sort of action, follow the brush with the dryer. All that's going to do is just smooth the hair as you dry it and uh, make sure that the cuticle gets nice and smooth and the hair looks nice and, you know, lays nice and flat and smooth. So yeah, we're going to get started. I'm probably not going to talk too much now because the dryer is going to make a load of noise.
Okay, and that's our first section done. We're going to work exactly the same through the next two sections. Um, so I'm going to split this up into three, I think. Uh, I'm going to take the next section right up there and then just keep this section out of the way. It doesn't have to be too neat. Um, you know, keep it a little neat, but don't stress about it. Um, but try and keep it as neat as you can. Now we're going to work on that second section, doing exactly the same thing. Really fo focusing on drying that root and pulling it straight. That, that, that's really the kind of main focus. And then we'll take our final section down. You might find that we need to dry this up a little bit more, a bit more of an angle, sort of come up and then round. That's okay, we'll just put, say all we need to really focus on is putting that root straight as possible. I might have to take another section, see this area around here, it's probably gonna need to be done in another section uh, or just go over it, make sure it's right up close to that parting. Yeah, I'm going to take just this section here, this top section, make sure we get right down at that root. And here we are, so we take this side sections down. Uh, this die job obviously doesn't really suit this kind of parted. Uh, Parted vibe, but that's all right. It's not really the focus. But there we go. So now we've got our parting dried in. So we have our centre part, well, our parting here, and our fringe is now nice and straight. There's none of that thinness in the fringe. Um, that's just because it's pulled directly from the root. So now, uh, you know, she can shake her hair around, and it's never going to open up because you find that before you try and cover it up, but then once you start moving all the wind blew, you'd always get that. Uh, parting coming back into it but now it's always going to fall straight because you've really pulled at the root and pulled that root straight and that's solved the problem basically pardon the pun at its root um, and now I mean you can if if you wanted to go through it with a set of straighteners just to kind of like really polish that up but essentially our main problem which is the root here is going to be all solved and your fringe is going to lay straight Cheers guys, it's today's video, it's quite a simple one but I hope it helps some people out there. Uh, remember to subscribe if you want more videos about uh, various hair stuff and if you've got any requests or uh, questions um, just let me know in the comments or you can get me on Twitter or my blog at lemonsodahair.com and uh, at lemonsodahair on Twitter, contact me anytime, ask me any questions, I'm always open to answer and talk about hair. So yeah, cheers, thanks guys.